guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alana if you're new here today's Monday October 24th it's 8 10 I am on my way to my externship haven't talked about that place in a while and I will talk to you guys a little bit after just something like how I've been feeling towards my externship oh, put my seatbelt on I just got gas because I was on like 20 miles till E and so I need a gas because this is a far drive oh and then let me put it in my GPS. I'm like out of there. And you know, it's busy because it's 8 o'clock on a Monday. So, yeah. But I am going to talk to you guys about my externship a little bit later. Just because I need time to like sit down and talk and not talk and drive. Just on how I've been feeling towards it. Um, and just like how I've been feeling in general, you know, like the stuff that I've been dealing with and it's just been kind of putting a mood on like everything else. I'm doing a week in my life this week just because I need to get back into the groove. I love filming, editing the video that you guys just seen um, right now and it should be uploaded this week. But obviously by the time you see this video, you would have seen that video. But I have fallen in love again with like filming and editing and stuff and i miss that i need to get back onto just like having a new normal um like going to the gym i went to the gym three times last week went to work i uh, just want to get back into a normal routine um and it doesn't mean like getting up at five o'clock in the morning i think every single day and just being like super productive but just kind of like checking little things off my to-do list the things that i want to do and kind of just like changes that i want to implement into my life and stuff so yeah i need to like continue on with that and that's why i like filming because i feel like it holds me accountable um but i am like a little bit late just because i could not fall asleep last night for the life of me i went to bed at like almost two o'clock in the morning and then having to get up at like five and then cj needed to feed that's a lot but they um, are really cool and they're just like you know come in whenever you want to obviously there has to be some type of structure um, so I am late today but usually I would go from 7 to 3 30 that's it just good morning welcome to a week in my life um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later because there's traffic there's people I need to drive and I want to listen to music <laughs> Hey guys, it's the afternoon. It's 3.30. I am done with work. So weird to say that that's in my job, you know? But anyways, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my externship because I think I talked about it in a previous video, but I don't, I think I cut like all those clips out. So you guys didn't even see that. But um, I haven't really been going to this particular job one because it's like 40 minutes from my house and two i don't think that i am an er nurse i don't think that i am made to be an er nurse like it's so chaotic in there and i think that is why i don't like it like i'm a very type a i got a plan if you work on a unit you don't know exactly what you're coming into on your shift but you have a general idea the er you literally don't know because the er is the first step before they go to the NICU to the PICU or to like a regular floor and it, for some reason I'm always in like the trauma which I'm completely fine with because it's like less patients it's only four patients and two nurses they're, like the sickest of the sickest patients and like no you know they're not like dying or anything but like they're just really sick they need a lot of like care and stuff so you have to watch them a little bit closely um but because it's RSV season everywhere is packed the NICU packed, the PICU packed, like there's no beds anywhere. So everybody is just kind of like backed up, which means if you can get your patients out of these bays and we have like bays, so rhino, tiger, alligator, etc., etc., And so they only have so many beds, but if you can't move the people in the ER to floors, because you, you don't stay in the ER, that's not your stay. But recently people, you know patients have been staying like five to seven days in the er which is terrible but the er is like you go and everybody has their different destinations so you might go like i said to the pick you to the NICU, to a regular four you might go home you might get transferred to a different hospital etc etc and so if you can't get those people moving in the er you can't get them to a bed and so then more people are coming to the er but you can't move these people out so they have like chairs and stuff in the hallway i mean it's actually terrible especially for these children because these are babies and they're sick and you know they need help but we can't move the people that are already in there 
So, with that, that's not why I don't think that I'm going to be an ER nurse. It's just I don't, I don't really necessarily like kind of like the fast pace level one trauma hospital so like it's very fast paced you pretty much get the sickest of the sickest patients i know for a fact when i graduate i want to be work with kids i don't think that i'm going to work with adults but i know i want to work with kids that's the first thing so the second thing would just be where am i going so over the weekend i um emailed my manager and i was like hey you know because she obviously had the idea that i was graduating in december and unfortunately i'm not i'm graduating in april now so i'm like you know what i can use this as an opportunity to shadow different um units because if i was to graduate she was gonna start my nursing job the process next month in november you know based on me graduating in december so that was like super quick and i'm like i don't think that i'm gonna be an er nurse so I feel like now, um, now that I'm graduating in April, I'm like, you know what? I have time that if I want to go and shadow in the NICU and shadow in the PICU and shadow other units, I can so that way I can kind of solidify a job a little bit in the next like four months or whatever. So I emailed her. So I'm going to be able to shadow in the NICU and the PICU just to see the vibes. I definitely know I'm going to go to the NICU. Um, I honestly would love to do L and D, but that's a whole different like to me. That's a whole different ball game, and I feel like I'm already in. Sorry, I'm trying to get Aquaform. A whole different ball game. Like I would have to apply to a different hospital. I would essentially have to apply, apply to a different job, and um, I don't know if I want to make that leap. I don't think in my heart that I'm a labor and delivery nurse. I, ER is pretty cool. I mean, it is pretty cool. It's a very nice experience because I get to see the medic. Like I get to pretty much see how everything is going. But I just feel like my home is probably the NICU. So I will update you guys um, those days that I'm shadowing in the NICU and the PICU and talk about that and stuff. And my dream is definitely NICU. So I'm glad I spoke up and emailed my manager because I was a little nervous and anxious. 3.40 right now, I am on my way home. And I had a really good day today, it was super busy. And they're always so welcoming. I mean, this hospital is amazing, it's a teaching hospital, so that's one thing that you should look at when applying to jobs and stuff, is if it's a teaching hospital, because not all hospitals are teaching hospitals and not all nurses are willing to teach the student or um, their orientee or whatever the case may be. But everybody there is so nice and so helpful. And um, I do like coming here and I wish I could muster up the courage and just the energy to come here a lot more. But I just can't, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like I'm anxious with it being in the ER and me not knowing what I'm walking into. I'm gonna go because I'm just talking and I will see you guys later. I'm gonna show you guys what we got from the mall. We went to the mall on Saturday. I had to exchange the pants that I got for Kylie from Zara in my last vlog. I had to exchange them for a bigger size. But I wanted to show you guys what I got because I love Zara clothes. And if you have a Zara near you, um, go in and look and see what type of stuff they have for your babies. They actually have cute clothes for like grown-ups and adults and stuff. Just got to get the kids stylish first. This jacket I'm in love with. So cute. And then I got CJ just two plain like long sleeve shirts. And then I got Kylie in pink and black sweater. So cute for school. And then these are the pants. I exchanged them for a bigger size. For some reason, she loves my skim like flare pants. So this is kind of like a little baby dupe. So she's so excited to wear those. And then I got her these plaid like flare pants. I don't know. She probably wear these um, for Thanksgiving. So that's what I got for both of them. And then, oh, I'm going to have some extra stuff actually. She has this long sleeve shirt. And then these jeans, but I got both of those last week. So, um, and then I went to Bath and Body Works and they were having 50% off fall stuff. And then they were like slowly bringing in their Christmas stuff. So I got this pumpkin, can't even see. I got this pumpkin bonfire candle. Um, I love to get the single wicks because one, there's the, the three wicks are so expensive, like $25 can't pay for that. And also, um, I like to change up my scents and so I don't like to keep like I have so many candles that I like just now got rid of that I bought probably two years ago because I can't go through the three um three wicks that fast but I do love the single wicks because they're cheaper and you can switch out your scents more frequently so I got the pumpkin bonfire and then I got marshmallow fireside which is like the best Christmas holiday scent in the world and then I got a little hand sanitizer pumpkin cupcake 
and then marshmallow pumpkin latte smells so good this is the scent i was talking about in my last vlog um native has a body wash it's called toasted marshmallow cinnamon or something like that and it literally smells just like this and i, I this is like such a nostalgic scent for me i used to wear this scent literally every day in high school and then i got wicked vanilla woods which smells super good as well Guys, it's the next day. It's Tuesday. Um, I got a little pimple patch because I'm getting a pimple and it really hurts. So, and don't mind my hair. I'm getting my hair done on Thursday and I'm actually getting it cut. I'm not getting it as short as I did like a couple years ago, but I am gonna get like a blunt cut because my ends are terrible. So, hair updates to come. 12 o'clock, Took Kylie to school, went to the gym, came home, I made breakfast, and I tidied up our room and stuff, lit a candle. I am now going to finish editing my last vlog. You guys have already seen it before. If not, go watch it, but I am going to finish editing it. I'm on like the last day. It's a weekend vlog. I'm on the last day, and then I need to like go back and add like my text and my music and stuff. So I should be done with that, and that should be uploaded tomorrow. But like I said, you guys have already seen that video. CJ here just fed him changed his clothes got him all freshened up ready for the day i'm back to working out three times a week which i'm so happy about because um finally getting back into a new routine like this is kind of what i do not really on a daily only the days that i like work out I only work out three days a week just because i work nights so um one of those days are out the cut and then i go to my externship which is in the morning and i'm just not like a super early girl anymore which is fine like you can be productive and don't have to wake up at like the crack of damn dawn finish editing this for a couple hours probably get him down for a nap maybe watch some netflix and then i'll go get kylie go grocery shopping and that's pretty much it for today Today is Wednesday. Woo, I had a jam-packed morning. It's almost 12 o'clock. Got Starbucks. Of course, got a cheese Danish because it's so elite. And yeah, yesterday my coffee was like super sweet and now today is super bitter. And I stopped getting the extra caramel drizzle. Oh. Hold that thought. Getting the extra karma drizzle just because one, I feel like it made your drink so expensive for no reason. And then two, it wasn't needed. Like if you get the vanilla sweet cream cold foam, like you really don't need the caramel drizzle, but I don't know. Sometimes you need it because the coffee's too bitter, like today. Anyways, I did a lot this morning. I went to the gym and I only had enough time to do like 30 minutes of cardio which is fine and I ran a couple miles and did that in 30 minutes which I felt accomplished tropical smoothie for my boyfriend and then Starbucks for me now we're at the collision shop because his car got messed up last night 
so yeah i don't know a little bit later that's really the only thing that i need to do today i um i'm trying to find these pasta shells i can't find them anywhere and i haven't went to walmart and walmart never lets you down so we're gonna go to walmart i do need like q-tips baby oil little stuff like that maybe just like walk around i like to get um both their like clothes from walmart like sweats and leggings and t-shirts and stuff just because they're cheap and like i said in my last video or the video before that i don't remember kylie gets so dirty at school which is understandable they're painting they're coloring they're going outside whatever the case may be i'm not expecting her to be you know looking super clean but like she has holes in her leggings her shirts are fine they might have like marker and stuff on them um but she also plays with slime at home and like paints her nails and does makeup whatever the case may be anyways oh i like to get him clothes because he's a baby and they grow out of stuff super fast um tights long sleeve shirts onesies whatever and then he's popping another tooth so he needs tylenol i don't have any of that just good stuff at walmart um so yeah that's the plan today it's gonna rain really bad it's very dark and yeah i'm not doing anything special I've literally been looking for this for months now. I'm so excited. But I literally want to show you guys the best purchase ever. This. This Alani New Witch's Brew Energy Drink. I've been looking for this for months. And every store online says that they have it. I go in, they don't have it. Went to Target, fully stocked. So I really hope it's good. I think the vibe of caramel apple. And I really don't like caramel apple. But I want to love it so bad because this packaging is fire flames so we'll see i'm gonna taste it um when i get home um and then i got a toy for cj and it didn't have a barcode and the lady gave it to me for five dollars it was like a 30 dollar toy and she gave it to me for five dollars and it's like this big toy too it's not like no little toy so that's really cool i'm so excited what about that i didn't really get anything i really went in for my pasta that i've been looking for finally found it should have just went to target all along and um i got like aquaphor baby oil q-tips tylenol stuff that i said i was gonna get and i got a lot of clothes for him just because they were cheap um and he needs <laughs> and he needs clothes i took him out the car seat because we're about to go in but um yeah i'm so i don't know i'm just so i love target target gives me so much energy as you guys can tell but i'm gonna go in and get her and then um i'll show you guys the stuff that i bought well i don't know i might not even show you guys because it's boring stuff this was the most exciting thing so i'm gonna taste this and do a little taste test when i get home so i'm at home I'm gonna taste it i'm nervous it's an energy drink yeah i know because when you do something you ever get you feel like butterfly it's actually really good. It's an energy drink. And you usually let me taste them. Yeah, later. It'd be so much better if it was cold. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. But I do taste like a hint of the apple and a hint of the caramel. It's not overpowering. But yeah, these are good. I want to tell them that I have a wiggly tooth. Okay, she has a wiggly tooth. All right, we're going to go inside. I'm going to eat something and then I'm going to take a nap. Cause I'm tired. take my makeup off because I'm tired. I took a long ass nap. And I just use my cellar water. All right, and then for face wash, just the CeraVe. And for moisturizer, just the Kiehl's cream. So that's all I do. So I'm gonna use a little bit of toner too. I don't do this every day, I don't use toner every day but Hi.
I will see you guys in the morning. Hi guys, anything different? Got my hair done and I cut my hair and we went like just a little bit shorter now that I'm looking at it than I wanted to. But it just feels so healthy and it's so silky and shiny and smooth. And the back is like a blunt cut. I had it in a claw clip when I, cause I just got out the shower, but the back is like a blunt cut, which I like because I feel like layers can be a little annoying when it comes to like trying to do styles and stuff. But yeah, I had a pretty busy day. I was supposed to get up and go work out, but that didn't happen. I was so tired. And then I went and got my hair done and to my job interview for the cheer coach position. And honestly, that shit was kind of difficult. Like I don't think I've had an interview that asks like those type of questions before. And so I feel like I was a little nervous but they said that i wasn't nervous they said that i was like the most calm that they've ever seen me and my um best friend from high school applied for this position and we like both wanted to be like co-coaches and stuff but i just kind of feel like other people are applying and it's like why are you applying to this coaching position and you didn't even go to the school like we went to the school we've been varsity cheerleaders and everything like that so i feel like we're a little bit more tied into the program but i don't know he said that he's going to call tomorrow with you know the answer and stuff so i don't know but yeah when i got my hair done i had to hurry up and rush home to change my clothes to something interview related because i was wearing like gym clothes and then um i had to switch cars with my boyfriend so he can go to work just got the shower and like i said now it's like 3 10 ish and i'm gonna go get kylie in a minute i haven't had like a real meal all day and um yeah, so I might go to like this little Mediterranean place and get like some chicken and rice and stuff. Just trying to be a little bit more healthier and not get like McDonald's or anything. But I work tonight, so I'm trying to take a nap and blah, blah, blah. So that's like the plan. It's been a pretty crazy busy day. You guys like my hair. I wanted to dye it, but I didn't have enough time. And I feel like that's a commitment. Like let's do one step at a time. So I'm going to cut it and then maybe in the summer I might dye it because hopefully it'll grow like back you know to a healthier state it was super dead the ends were like dead so i'm just glad that it feels healthy and it moves and it looks really cute so that's pretty much it that's all i did today i'm gonna talk to you guys when i am getting ready probably do a little montage of me getting ready for work and then i'm gonna go to work and that will literally be thursday which is crazy because today went by so freaking fast Just took my makeup off. I like need to take my makeup off when I get off. My teeth. Gonna get Kylie. Gonna get Kylie ready for school. And then I think I'm gonna go get my nails done after I drop her off. Then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna be super tired, but I'm gonna drink that um, energy drink, the Alani New, because I put it in the refrigerator. So it's probably even better now. I'm gonna drink that. done with my nails they look super clean and i got like the little black xl and i got it in black just because i didn't want to get any like spooky nails or anything because halloween is like a couple days away so i didn't want to have halloween nails for two weeks so just got the black to add a little spooky touch and then on my toes i just got white i literally am in love with my toes she did so freaking good 
but i can't believe that i haven't been to sleep yet <laughs> it's 11 15 i'm about to go to bed knock out and honestly this energy drink really kicked in it really kicked in at first i was like oh i'm about to fall asleep but it really kicked in it's really good it's like you definitely can taste the caramel like you can taste the caramel and hints of the apple which is nice because it's not overpowering i think i said this before when i did my first little taste test but i'm gonna go home and go to sleep because i probably can only sleep for like three four hours and then i have to be back at work tonight so oh, hey guys i haven't filmed at all today really i went and got my nose done early this morning bed until one no i didn't go to bed until 12 40. so i was up a whole extra six hours and at first i was getting a little annoyed because i was like um i'm tired and you know when you get tired you get irritated so i was trying to stop that she did my nails really nice i really like them they're very subtle very nice very clean i was telling you guys i didn't really want to go spooky nails because it's october 28th so i didn't want to wear spooky nails um going into november for like two weeks so yeah now i'm going to do my makeup and get ready for work um not really gonna make a chit chat because I tried to do that in my last video and I kept getting interrupted. Excited? Yeah. Hi, CJ. Okay. at all today um it's saturday today it's like 9 07 i am about to get ready to go out i just woke up from a nap like a little hour nap and it's my friend's birthday so we're gonna go out and yeah i didn't even do much today um i literally woke up immediately got dressed got the kids ready dropped my boyfriend off at work and then we went to the little halloween like boo bash type of thing and then we came home and i took a nap and now we're here i actually have some coffee because i need just like a little bit of coffee i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm probably not gonna talk through it because um, I don't really have anything to say and I'm trying to like wake up <laughs> okay. So I am all dressed, but I cannot figure out 
which shoes to wear obviously you guys won't see this but i just have this bodysuit on from pretty little thing and then my jeans are from fashion nova and i'm trying to decide which heels to wear like do i just wear the all black ones or do i wear like the snakes snake print i don't know i don't know i am going to put on all my jewelry all right i'm gonna put all my jewelry on and my bracelet and signature the carolina o'hare i'm gonna wear like a um leather jacket but it's the final look gotta decide which shoes and i think i'm leaning to more i think i'm leaning more towards just the plain black ones just to give it like a more grown-up look but that's it